Hey everyone, how are you? So today I wanna to talk a little bit about the why. I made a video, Another Everyday Truth, talking about Bob Burge kind of pushing me to think about the why I paint. And I came back from that totally moved and just changed, changed my style, it changed the way I saw things. And I thought, oh, well, certainly I know what the why is. My artwork started to be a little bit more powerful and a little bit more personal. But now, a few years later, a total year of transition, I really think I've honed in a little bit more on what that why is. And I don't think it was what I thought it was. I don't even think it was what I thought it was when I was talking about it in the last Everyday Truth video. Reason being, I've done a little bit of kind of looking into personality type like Myers-Briggs, Enneagram, really just honing in on who I am, what makes me tick, what is my why? I mean, it, ideally, not that those tests tell me, tell me who, what my why is, but they kind of do. So really what I discovered is, I think my why, my reason for painting is in search of truth. As silly as that might sound, or maybe as juju as that might sound, I don't even believe it's in search of my own truth, but just truth. There is nothing more vulnerable, more honest, than you, a canvas, and paint, and what happens between an artist and their surface and their media. It is a practice of honesty. It is a something you can count on. And even if that truth is ugly that day, and sometimes the truth is beautiful, but in the end, it is truth. And I think in spending the past year, which will almost be a year in February, the past year in so many untruths, that painting that truth has not come easy for me because I've had to face a lot of really ugly truths that maybe I wasn't ready to face. And I say this to you today because I again want to credit Bob Burridge for giving me that life-giving mission, that life-giving message that I needed to paint the why. I needed to know why I was painting before I could ever own the artwork that was coming out of me in a way that was truly intrinsically mine. It goes beyond intuitive painting. It goes beyond um, being able to paint something great. It is really when you're able to look at yourself, that you're able to look at the artwork that you're creating in a different way. So. I think that this why I paint is the continued journey for honesty. Even maybe even looking from honesty from around me and needing to be comforted by knowing that what I was doing on the canvas was honest. If I couldn't trust anything around me, at least the relationship I had with the canvas was truth, was honest. It was unencumbered. It was it was real. And I say all that because I think there's a genuineness in our own reality. I had a very beautiful conversation with one of my best friends this morning. And when she was speaking to me, she had this like total moment recently. And, and it was that truth. I value truth. I value truth in others. I value truth in myself. And I don't know if I knew how much value that had in my life until maybe just recently. So, when we think about why do you paint? Why is it that you paint? Somebody's gonna ask you that question one day. Why is it that you paint strawberries? Whatever it might be. I bet you the answer isn't as literal as we might think it is because I think I'd been answering that question literally. And I think it's way, way bigger than the literal why do you paint faces? Why do you paint flowers? Why do you paint abstracts? I think it comes from such a deep place that Painting is genuinely a part of who you are because it's not just what you need. It's what you need to see and feel around you. 
All right, well, that's that's my little why I paint today. I think it was something I just recently discovered. And maybe you're like, yeah, yeah, you said that before, but I don't know if I really knew what I was saying. <laughs> if you've ever had those moments where you're like, you know what, I said that, but I didn't really know the power of it until just recently. So today as you're painting, maybe just have an appreciation for the relationship you have between your media and canvas and what that relationship could possibly mean to you. Not just you do it for fun or you do it to escape or, or it's your quiet time. It could possibly have a deeper meaning in your own life. And maybe that's why we're drawn to it so much. It's probably something that's so much a part of intrinsically who we are that to separate from it doesn't feel right. So I leave you with that message today. I hope you have an amazing day and uh, thanks for listening to my everyday truths.